Yeah, whoa, dude. <laughs> Template was four. I'm thinking that's original. This is my wife, don't worry. <laughs> Does that look ridiculous? <laughs> really thin strips. Oh no, I just broke that long strip and that is an issue. All that pain was for 10 to 15 yards, reduced down to this little half tail. Good morning, welcome back. I'm Andy and today I'm finally getting the last final details to my mine site. We're gonna try to push through at least 10 yards and get our first look at some of the gold coming out of here. All right, that's it, let's go. So I'm just quickly setting up the uh, floats. These are the recently made floats for the pickup lines for the pumps that are pumping from the settling pond. And uh, they're kind of convenient because they're gonna help keep the pickup at exactly the right height at no matter what height the pond is at. So kind of like a self-regulating pump pickup level. And that's awesome because it's just one less thing we're gonna have to mess with. We have to make these final fixes to the wash plant. This is too wide and flat at the bottom of this and the majority of the water drops through right away. So all of this is sitting full of stuff and it's not running out. So we're gonna reline it with more of an angle and I'm actually gonna cut these grizzlies off. This is just too permanent. I can't adjust the angle of it because it's built into that. So I'm just gonna reline the bottom of this internal hopper here, and that should be enough to do what we need. Sometimes these simplest tasks are the most enjoyable. <laughs> All right, so we are getting the template made for the metal sheet to reline the hopper and getting these last fixes done. What I got here is really thin strips. Oh no, I just broke that long strip and that is an issue. Uh, it's door skin, it's a really thin particle board and uh, it's all cut in strips with perfectly straight edges in a table saw and you glue these together. This is part of it just to show with a hot glue gun and it lets you trace an exact template so we can custom cut a piece of metal to line the bottom of this hopper here and it's gonna go in just like butter, whatever that means. <laughs> okay. okay, like it looks like I gotta take this off so I can crawl in here. Okay, there's that. Kind of a little conundrum here because I'm retrofitting what we have. I'm not sure if I should make it steeper for only half the duration of the box or a less gradual angle for the whole duration of the box. Wondering if you guys had any suggestions out there as to what you thought would be best. Let me know what you're thinking. We're running like the same generator that turns this whole trommel and we're using it just to, just for the hot glue gun. Okay, I'm gonna get these to the exact same. So the neat thing about them is that they, they just cut with an X-Acto and then just break it. Super simple. And now I'll just make sure the two outer edges are the exact same. Literally put a blob of glue. The next piece goes back to this one. So, by using these straight edges to shoot the straight shots, and then all you do, you, it, it reads everything. And then, so to make a turn like this, I just cut another small piece, and you just you set it in here. And when you trace this line now onto your tin, you'll get the exact cut you need. 
it's giving us the exact outer perimeter that we can trace onto our sheet of metal. Now the template's free and I'll be able to just lift it right out of here. And we are laughing. As I lay this uh, template down on the steel, I make sure to position these top corners where I know they need to be. And then I gotta hold it very still while tracing it. It wants to kind of keep moving on me. All right, so there's our cut out piece. That's what the template was for. All that pain was for that nice easy cut. So now we're gonna cut the grizzlies out of the way with the cutting torches and we can just slide this puppy right in and we should be able to just do a nice easy weld to just make it waterproof. Yep. There it is. I have to keep this on because it's such a main support. So the biggest issue was that it would build up so much, it stopped the deck from shaking. And once the deck's not shaking, the, it, the gravel just doesn't feed as good as it should. So plus it's building up all over the wash plant. It's just a mess, but it's gonna definitely make it work a lot better. Well, that's it. But look at how nice that's gonna be to weld. And so much steeper, right? This is pretty claustrophobic, coming in this like that. <laughs> okay, ready for some banging? Oh, look at how nice that is. So I've never used this generator for welding and I made an adapter so that I can bring my 240 MIG welder out to the mine site. And uh, this is the first little test and just worked like a dream. So that's awesome. So I'm out of welding wire now uh, on the main roll. I got this little bit of an end roll that I'm gonna throw on there uh, and just get as much done as I can. And we're gonna have no choice but to finish this welding tomorrow. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. Yes, you too. We're finishing the welding on the hopper. We're dragging the pay dirt pile closer and getting it ready. We're setting up the new pump shed and putting the roof on it. And then we're gonna use and install our pickup lines and our brand new floats. After that, we're gonna set up the sluice box and get it ready to go. That's an adapter for the larger rolls. We're gonna finish welding this hopper. Yikes. This fix that we're doing right now, it's crucial. We can't get around it. The wash plant is not feeding. We worked for an hour the other day and we had to shut down because this hopper was full. It took me over an hour to clean it all out and I never want to do that again. So once I have this finished, it'll be watertight. We got a nice new steep slope. It's looking a lot better. The time it took is taking two days or so to get this done but it's going to be all the difference when it comes to running reliably in the future. Now we'll move the welder around and finish welding up the Grizzlies. All right, I'm just jumping right on to leveling out this berm and pulling our pay pile closer. It's my share album.
dirt came out really sloppy and it's been sitting getting rained on and uh, finally we're getting some drier weather and so you can see I'm just like by scooping it and mixing it up again it lets uh, the air into it and starts it drying out and it makes it feed a lot better when it, it, it comes to sprinkling it through the plant so I'm gonna just collect all this pay dirt and move it to a nice big pile so that I can feed it through when we're ready to sluice. The berm only needs to be a certain amount of meters wide uh, for the coat. And so right now it's like triple that. So I'm just gonna use that gravel and as the first gravel that we're gonna be sluicing here. And I'm just piling it right next to the plant. And it's neat to actually have another look at it again and see how tasty it looks. It's it's really promising looking stuff. It's, it's a, I'm just getting actually incredibly excited as I work uh, through these tasks. And I think when we leave tonight, I might even go as far as tarping this. So as I was digging along here, I, uh, we had pockets that were filling with water. Well, I sloped this and tiered it off so that the water, surface water will drain off that way. That way it doesn't carry sediment into our pond and uh, it doesn't keep puddling and making this a mucky mess. This is awesome. And fluffing up our pay dirt will give it that chance to dry out. And it just feeds a lot better that way. And also banging the big boulders around gives a chance to knock off that pay dirt that's stuck to them. This is exciting. All right, it's time to put that shed in place and get the roof on it. So now we're just gonna drag this shed I was hoping it could be back here out of the way, but it's just not enough for the pump hoses. So I'm going to move it closer to the pickup. Awesome. So what I got here is just kind of a simple and quick idea to, to take all the curves out of our lay flat lines because they don't like bending corners and, and if you bend them too sharp they kink so i'm just going to make a couple pre-made 90s with the cam locks and then i can route my lines on uh nice nice straight trajectories and uh, keep the hoses from kinking and keep them out of the work area as much as possible uh, they'll be multi-use i can disconnect and connect and reconfigure them however i want uh, so that's exciting but it was a little bit of money to put this together and that's just Another example of like how when you think you got everything and I actually got like I got five times more than what I think I would need for fittings and pipes, but I'm just always buying more stuff like this. But I just think once I have it, it's so useful. I think this is a great idea and I'm going to just quickly put them together now. All right, there's all four elbows. We'll let them dry. All right, so now the next thing we got to do is hook up our pump pickups to the floats that we made. I put this screen on here, uh, so as it draws material and sticks and debris, uh, they'll get caught on the outside of this screen and not sucked into the pickups for the pumps. Just ideally, if I could go the whole way around that, that would be good, but the roll was a lot less than I thought. There was only about five or six feet there, so. And so now I got to switch a couple new ends on these pickup lines. Uh, so they got the cam locks on both sides and then should be just a matter of snapping them on and hooking them up to the pump and then that's this done and then I got a tag line because uh, the, the weight of the hoses will want to draw the float back to the shore but I'll tag it out that way somewhere so that it stays right out there where the water is nice and deep. That's great. Okay that's all done now I'm going to run these lay flat lines and then the plant's ready to fire up and maybe Get to making some gold. Look at what we just found right here, sticking out of the tailings. I saw some metal and I know I haven't cut any rusty metal and thrown the scraps here, so it caught my eye right away. That's an old pick head, like that's really old stuff. Look, he must have split the end maybe and then just tossed it, I don't know, but we didn't see it, it came out of the coarse tailings. That means that went through the trommel. That is so cool. I'm thinking that's original. Or maybe, like maybe it's from the 30s or something. I don't know, it kind of does have a cast look to it almost. But it's pretty old. That's fun finds, like that gets me just as excited as anything. 
Obviously, I'm ready to see some gold, but I, I love that. It means we're in the right spot. Obviously, like we're just, you know, just basically working right at that Georgina bar. And then not far up the uh, river here is that other, the other <laughs> main bench. It's got a real hook to it. It looks like a classic miner's pick, you know? It doesn't look modern to me. That's neat. We'll put it in the bin of finds. This 90 is just a great way to get that water heading that way now. All right, so that's how that'll help us make a 90 degree turn. I really wanted the hoses to be a little wider and back a little further, but I still am just like about 25 to 30 feet short. So someday I'll get another section or whatever and a longer piece so that I can just finalize this. Cause once they're out of the way, you don't have to move them for a good little while. Uh, but for today, we're just gonna hook them up and keep rolling and All right, so the sluice box has the perfect angle now, the right amount of drop. Now I'll throw in the mats and the grating, and then we can try firing up the pumps and make sure they're running after that fix that we made. All right, we got the both pumps working now. I may as well fire up the trommel and the excavator and start beating some pay dirt. All right. So the hopper seems to be jamming up a bit. Still, it's a real pain. Are working way better though with those little uh, 45 or 22 degree elbows on there. The water jets are actually flaring out now and it's covering all of the gravel. Listen to that, the silence is just like the old taking your ice skates off after the end of the day kind of thing, that feeling of just instant tranquility and comfort. Oh, that was good, that was great. That was a, a really good day. It feels like we're, you know, we got a process going. Like I was worried that the tailings were gonna overfill the pond. It doesn't look like it came up at all. And we put like 15 yards into it. Ah, uh, the pump floats worked fantastic. We got gold today though, no matter what. Like, I don't know how much, but that's just great. We're processing. Awesome, so we gotta start cleaning this out because it's getting late. I just can't stop staring at it, it looks so cool. I know it's not a lot of yards, but every bit that I sluice, we're gonna load up and take home and clean out. So I'm just gonna get to popping these mats out and throwing them in the tub and kind of wrapping the mine up for the night and heading home. That's the money pit. Not so bad, or it's pretty bad. <laughs> I can't lift it, but I can drag it. Way more stuff caught in here than I had realized. And I don't want to leave any nuggets. All right, we'll get the nugget trap open here. All right, this is the nugget trap cleaned out. Now we're just gonna take it home and we'll clean this gold up tomorrow. It's time to clean some gold. And in the process, first I needed to commandeer one of my wife's pieces of garden equipment.
feeding the dirt like this at home or the concentrate I should say is like really rewarding considering each scoop this size could take me as much as 20 minutes to pan out because of all the black sand that's in it and how concentrated it is. It's just such a pleasure to use this gold claimer, which is my old trommel. This is my old production plant that I actually used to use in my previous videos. And now it's just for cleaning up the concentrates. As convenient as it is, it's still just another process to work out all the little bugs. It takes so much tinkering to get it set up at home to have a system so you can quickly use it whenever you need it. And it's still a work in progress. That's all of the concentrates now. And uh, I'll just kind of do a, let it run out for a few seconds so that it cleans up any of the last lights to go through. And then I'll shut it all down, give it a little, rinse around with the hose and we'll pull out the sluice box and see what we're left with. Well, it sure feeds like a dream. Um, I love using this thing, but now the anxiety of how much gold's gonna be in it. You know, we didn't get a ton of yardage sluiced, but the big thing is just getting the whole train running and then I'm gonna just happily stay there all year and keep feeding it. If there was ounces, you'd definitely see it sitting here. There's a nice little accumulation there. You know, I sure hope we get to that amount. We should start to see, you know, in the multiples of the grams. Hopefully at least two grams but, or more, but I'm surprised how much I, you know, it's finer gold than what we're used to getting. Often, we're used to getting big chunks and that's honestly one of the reasons why we're so invested in this place. It's known for its big chunks and it takes a lot of fine gold to add up to the weight of a big chunk. And yes, fine gold adds up, we all know that, but big chunks, like you can have your biggest day, you know, best day of panning, it can be 0.8 of a gram, but then you find a two gram piece and it just blows, that one piece just blows so much out of the water. That's what's exciting, but this looks like we're in, you know, the finer patch of, it's a finer patch of gold, but that's still all right if it adds up in the weight. Look at this heat, look at how much is all right there. Half pail, half a mini pail of material from 10 to 15 yards. And then it reduced down to those two big tubs we brought home and then again reduced down to this little half pail. All right, let's pan this out. And the sun comes out for the gold. So we did three pans of the concentrates. That's all there was. We panned them down and put them into one separate pan for the final finish and we're going to do that right now. The one thing is, is I'm having trouble estimating exactly how much gravel we're putting through because I haven't found a way to measure it accurately. Like my old excavator, we knew how many scoops it was for a cubic yard. So I still don't know exactly how much we're processing. Well, that's, uh, that sure looks beautiful. I, I don't know what it's going to weigh. And if that's, uh, you know, for 10 yards, if that's worth it or not, or, or, you know, good or not. But I know with the struggles we had, it's, uh, it's going to get a lot, a lot faster processing as we go. So well, there's the gold all cleaned up and we'll just let her dry and we'll get a weight on that. So I panned out the nugget trap. There was a little extra in there, which is kind of cool. But in all reality, this is not going to pay the bills and I'm done with these tiny cleanups. These permits all have expiry dates. We're two years late on them and they are coming to a close really quick. 
I have no choice but to get to producing some gravel and getting as much gold out of there as I can before the end of this season. If this is the first time you're stopping by as well, I'd just like to let you know that we have a whole series that we're doing right now, the ghost town in my backyard. That's the current series that we're working on. It's starting and opening a gold mine from start to finish. We're showing all of the real problems and the real things that we come up against and then the real results and we're going to discover all that together. There's other seasons and series that we got and videos. Uh, check them out and thank you so much for watching. I'm Andy. It's Andy Thrax Mining. Till next time, take care. Okay, ready? Nah. <laughs> Does that look ridiculous? <laughs> Like, why the hell are you so rough? Yeah, whoa, dude. <laughs> it's just my wife, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs>